It's funny, I have this uh, strange attachment to Montana. I think just growing up there and just the vastness, like that I go back there and it's almost like I can breathe again. Yeah, the ranch hasn't changed at all since I left when I was 11. However long that was, <laughs> a while. Um, nothing has changed at all. I know the, the best memories I have probably are hanging out with my dad. I remember I'd ride the bus home from school and it was an hour long bus ride on this gravel road and the bus would drop me off like walking distance from this calving shed and I'd head there and I remember I'd sit in this like little room and my dad would let me have a cup of coffee and I'd mix it with hot cocoa and I'd do my homework and whenever my dad needed help like cleaning out stalls like you'd pitchfork out the old straw and put in new straw and yeah just looking at the stuff and the smells and everything it brings back all those memories. Like I'll look up at a hill and just have childhood memories of being outside all day, just running around and going exploring. Riding BMX bikes with my brothers. I was always trying to keep up with them because I was the youngest and those were like great memories. That's all. How long you see I definitely think that like the lifestyle I have now is from growing up exploring with my brothers and continuing to do that and holding on to that the youth and the curiosity and, and I think it does it I hope it keeps me young I know it'll it'll keep my mind young my body will get old that's true <laughs> was that true <laughs> yeah that was true oh that was true <laughs> Bringing the, the Rourke crew out to the ranch was pretty special. Like, it's weird when there's something in your mind that it's like the most amazing or beautiful or precious thing, and you're always afraid. Like, maybe if I bring somebody here, they won't have that same feeling or whatever, or they won't appreciate it that way. And it was pretty cool bringing everybody out there, and I could see how how much everybody loved it and how everybody appreciated it. And, think it's hard not to like feel something out there. Anytime somebody asks me where I'm from, like I tell them Montana still, even though I haven't lived there forever. I mean, everybody's got that place that feels like home, and yeah, Montana feels like home to me.